Hi friends! For today's language lesson, we are going to be learning about categories and which things go together. To, so to help you practice this, I made some cards about things that you can find in different rooms around your house. So let's look at how to use them and I'm going to show you how to organize the different things that go around your house. So I'm sure you have lots of different rooms in your house. And in some of those rooms, you can find certain things that you don't find in the other rooms. So today, we are going to look at a lot of picture cards and we are going to choose which items go with each room. So which sorts of things go in the living room, which sorts of things you can find in the kitchen, which sorts of things you can find in the bedroom, and which sorts of things you can find in the bathroom. So these are called categories. So we have pictures that belong in each category and we have to organize them based on which category they belong. So let's begin. First, sofa. In which room would you find a sofa? In the living room. What about a bed? In which room could you find a bed? In the bedroom. You wouldn't find a bed in the bathroom. What about a spatula for cooking? In which room could you find a spatula? In the kitchen. What about a cake mixer? In the kitchen. Okay, let's see what else we have. Where would you find a blanket? A blanket. Probably in the bedroom. You could have a blanket in your living room, maybe on the couch, but this is a blanket for sleeping at night. What about a bookshelf? Where could you find a bookshelf? Probably in your living room. What about, mm, here's a good one. What about a rubber duck? In the bathroom, yes. You use a rubber duck when you take a bath. What about a refrigerator? A refrigerator in the kitchen. What about a lamp? Where would we find a lamp? A nice lamp to go on the table for when you read, probably in the living room. What about a toothbrush? I brush my teeth in the bathroom. You probably do too. What about a television? A television goes in the living room. What about a pan? Where would you find a pan? In the kitchen. What about a bathtub? Where would you find a bathtub? In the bathroom, that's right. And what about a dresser to put your clothes away, a dresser? in the bedroom. And what about slippers? Where would you find slippers? I like to keep my slippers right next to my bed so that when I wake up in the morning, they're ready for me. Slippers, they go in the bedroom. What about measuring cups? I love to bake. And when you bake, you need lots of measuring cups in the kitchen. What about soap? Where would we find soap? In the bathroom. What about a pillow, a nice soft pillow? In the bedroom. What about a chair? A nice armchair. It would go in the living room. 
What about a hairbrush? A hairbrush. I keep my hairbrush in the bathroom. What about a teddy bear? A teddy bear in the bedroom. A coffee table. A coffee table. That's the little table that's usually in front of your, your sofa. A coffee table goes in the living room. A toaster. A toaster. Where does that belong? In the kitchen. And finally, towels. In which room would you find towels? In the bathroom. So there you have it. We put each of these items into their category. All of the things that belong in the living room, the sofa, the bookshelf, the lamp, the television, the chair, and the coffee table. The things that belong in the kitchen, spatula, cake mixer, refrigerator, pan, measuring cups, toaster. The things that belong in the bedroom, bed, blanket, dresser, slippers, pillow, teddy bear, and the things that belong in the bathroom, rubber duck, toothbrush, bathtub, soap, hairbrush, and towels. Okay, friends, I hope you had fun with this lesson today. I'm sure that you have many of these objects in your own houses. And what I want you to do now is to look around your house and find different objects that belong in each of these categories. So find some things that belong in the kitchen, find some things that belong in the living room, find some things that belong in the bedroom, and find some things that belong in the bathroom. And then you can categorize those just like we did with the pictures. All right, guys, I hope you have a wonderful day and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.